Hello YouTube, this is a review on the Motorola Edge Plus. Uh, this is going to take be done in one take, no cuts. Uh, I didn't need to have the skill nor the patience to do editing on computers and whatnot. Uh, what I'd like to bring up are the many issues that are plaguing this phone. Uh, this is my third replacement. The first phone I got was the end of July and within a, within a week I had the phone go sideways and I got it replaced under warranty. And then the second phone went sideways and I got uh, one replaced sent by Verizon to me about three weeks later. Uh, this is the third phone. Here's the third phone. And some of the issues that I'm running into and with this phone is, you can see the blooming issues, the bleeding edges. You could even see it better. But you can see the Verizon logo right here, ghosting up here, shadow ghosting. There's a better shot of that. And again, blooming issues. Some of that shadow ghosting carries over into web pages where the letters start smearing and in behind the black lettering, whatever the, uh, the reporter writes on their web page, you can see purple behind the black lettering. Um, one of the tests that I carried out when I first get these phones is a screen test. Three primary colors we grew up with we know are red, green, and blue. Red, green, blue. Red, green, purple. You can see the difference. Blue, purple. <sighs> What's frustrating about all this is Motorola, Motorola is still selling these phones and what I can't understand is either they're selling phones that are defective to customers or they're selling phones that they fixed, but for some reason I can't get a phone that doesn't exhibit these symptoms. I've been with Verizon about 18 years and I can't say enough good things about Verizon. Um, they've continued to support me and send these phones back to me and I finally got with Motorola and I said, what is going on here, guys? And their response was, oh, well, we don't know what the process is at Verizon. I said, explain to me the process. You make the phones, Verizon just sends them to me. What process are we talking about? And I never got a clear answer on the process. They keep saying process. Uh, well, Motorola, you're the flagship phone maker. You're the phone maker and you have control over this. Verizon doesn't. They're just a carrier. Um, Verizon's first flagship razor was a disaster. And this one isn't doing any better for $1,000. As you can see, this is the first Verizon phone I've had. I had an older one. The chocolate phone, awesome. The Droid Razor, awesome. I also have another one, the Moto, uh, I forgot, Moto one with the accessories. You get the JBL speakers and you get the uh, projector and everything. And I think it's over there, but I don't want to get it right now. So there would be another Motorola phone. All those phones have been great, but there are issues with this phone that Motorola has refused to fix and just keeps sending out broken replacements, hoping to run out the clock, or I don't know what they're thinking, really. Um, just really frustrated with this whole process and what Motorola does. Um, I wish they would make a right phone rather than a fast phone. I love everything about this phone. I love the waterfall display. I love the speed. Uh, it's a beautiful phone. Um, I have very little apps on here.
So I got Amazon, Avast Mobile Security. Fitbit, Instagram, Segway, and really that's it. I've done a hard reset with this phone and it didn't seem to fix it. Um, Verizon sent me a notice saying, hey, we would like to look at your phone. And I let them, there's nothing to hide. Uh, and then right after that, I found a system update. But even after the system update, as you can see in the pictures, um, I had issues. I'm trying to find system. System update. So September 20th was the last update. Um, today is September 27th. Whatever update they did, they did, it didn't really help at all. Checking for update, security update available. Well, this phone is going back, so it doesn't really matter. Motorola, I hope you do. Uh, do well in the future and I hope you do um, uh, do right I mean you just need to slow down a little bit and make phones like you used to these phones here were rock solid many other Motorola phones were rock solid uh, but for some reason the last two times you've been rushing you rushed out the Razer uh, foldable that thing was a disaster and you rushed this one out and here I'm working on my fourth replacement. I hope this doesn't go sideways too. Uh, again, I do this with a heavy heart. Um, I never thought I'd have to get to this point. That's it. These are issues that have plagued the Motorola Edge Plus.